Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So, Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you're dealing with the Taurus. Okay, guys, so yeah, I know I've been MIA for a little while, um, but genuinely needed that rest um, and a bit of time to myself. Um, lots going on, guys, but I can't share it with you just yet. Um, probably so at some point in the near future i will but yeah anyways um let's get into your reading guys let's see what's going on with you uh right let's start with your angel numbers okay let's get three for you uh three three messages for taurus please to start the reading Some of you guys, your, your mind's really expanding. Your vision is expanding. When I say your vision, let me be specific. I mean, <clears throat> any kind of limitations that you had on yourself or things that you thought weren't possible or things that you can understand, things are becoming clearer or they will become clearer, okay? I want to say that. So we've got number 16, I am perspective. And it says here, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Okay. Um, we have zero. I am limitless, right? There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. And then the last one is number 14. I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention and efforts are meaningful. Some of you got, oh, well, obviously you guys are earth signs, but that reminds me of Virgo. I'm a Virgo rising, I, I think, thinks... I, I'm definitely an overthinker. I, I have been told that and I know that I am, but it helps me most of the time. Anyways, so guys, let's get into your reading. Let's see what comes out for you. I try not to make it too long. I, I I'm going to try and do shorter readings um, and more frequently. Okay. Um, so tell me... Um, Let's do from for October for the first week of October, because it's like the, it'll be the twenty ninth and the thirtieth soon. So let's just call it from October. Something could happen. Something that I say uh, today could happen the thirtieth of September. But let's let's just say for the next week, okay? Tell me about Taurus, please. Uh, I just heard you handled that well. Okay, so maybe if you guys, you could, be, someone could be telling you this, or you could be telling yourself that, um, or there could be a situation coming up where you're like, I could that could have went all the way left, or I could have really acted a whole different way, but for whatever reason you decided not to, and it's probably going to go in your favor. Okay, you dealt with that well. Okay, the Queen of Swords. You told it how it is. Okay, you're telling someone how it is. The hermit. Ooh, okay. You're making someone think about... You, Taurus, I want to say there's something that you're saying. I want to say more so saying, um, probably doing as well. Um, that's really making someone look into themselves reflect like what like what did i do or why did i do that or why did i say that or i shouldn't have so you're making someone regret their actions their words their behavior um whether regardless if they um come forward and tell you this or not i feel and i'm sure you'll see that their behavior in their future will will, will let you know that okay So if you guys refuse to be around someone until they learn a lesson, okay, as well. Tell me more, please. 
we have the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are doing this out of love. I don't, for some of you guys, it could be somebody that you really don't like. For some of you guys, it is somebody that you really do care a lot about, okay? Uh, it could be an air sign, a Virgo, a water sign. doesn't have to be. Um, this could be a harsh lesson. This could be, um, I don't want to say a harsh lesson, but it's like, oh, what's that word? Um, let, let's just say tough love, basically. Some of you guys are doing it out of love as well, okay? Seven of Cups. All right, why? The Star. Oh, okay. So you've handled something well and you're trying to get someone else to help themselves um, to make better decisions, to bring them the best outcome. So you are doing this because you care. Some of you guys are doing this at work. Maybe you're a teacher of some kind or maybe you run a business and you're trying to um, teach these things to your, your staff or whoever it is, yeah? Um, some of you guys, it could be your children you're doing this with, uh, it could be a partner, but I feel like there's a lot a lot of things that you'll say that's really going to benefit people long term. Page of Swords is like, yeah, watch how I do it. Just watch me. The Page of Cups. Some of you guys, it is children as well. We've got two pages there. Hmm. Anything else? The page, you just got three pages in a row. Some of you guys, it really is about children. Page of Swords, Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles. Or somebody makes very um, childlike, uh, or they, let's just say they could act quite childish. They could be fully grown and really haven't gained the concept of, um, let's just say certain aspects of life that they could be dealing with better. Some of you guys, it's literally children, all right, um, that you're dealing with. <clears throat> Right, let's see what else comes out. Let's move on. What else can you tell me about Taurus, please, for the first week of October 2023? Where's this year gone? Where has this year gone? I don't know where, like, just flown by. It's flown by. I'm smiling, guys. You're probably thinking, why is she smiling? So I'm smiling because there's, there's so many things that I want to tell you guys, but I can't yet. Um, I've been sworn to secrecy, so I can't say, I can't mention it yet, but probably in a few, later on in October, I can. Okay. Let's get back to it. What else can you tell me about Taurus, please? The Emperor, the Sun. Some of you guys are going to be much happier at work or happy with the Aries. Yeah. Some of you guys are really meant to have a leadership role. It will make you much happier. Okay. Um, let's just put it like this. If you're anything like me, I know quite a few Tauruses of different ages, races, all that, all that stuff. And uh, they they do better when they work for themselves. They and they could be re they really are good at that. Um, the first person that comes to my my mind is my cousin, and she's um she's actually, she's actually the same age as my mum. But my family's huge. We got, I got all all ages. My my oldest cousins are probably like in the early sixties. Um, but she runs a few businesses, and she's on it. She like she's like she's on it. Taurus son. Um, some of you guys will be your best self when you are working for yourself or at least uh, working alone. Um, it could be working alone or working for yourself. Where, wherever you're in a position to um, make certain decisions, okay, without having to check in on somebody else, yeah? Okay, tell me more, please. The Nana Cups, told ya. That's when, you, that's when you'll feel content. That's when, you're, that's when you'll feel good within yourself. Okay, some of you guys could be celebrating something soon as well. This is a lot of... Um, I want to say a very productive week or at least start to the month I want to say the hanged man why the page this last page the hanged man of and the uh, page of wands I want to say this some of you guys may find that and I think I really feel like this is true 
we all learn from everybody, not just people older than us. We learn from kids as well. Yeah. And there could be a child in your life or children in your life um, showing you things or reminding you of um, what's important and things like that or making you see things from a different point of view. They may even help you uh, reach a certain conclusion as well. So whether it's your children or it could be nieces, nephews, it could be grandchildren of yours for those who have grandchildren. Yeah. Or a younger person around you that um, that maybe looks up to you also. OK. Someone's got great ideas. Uh, okay, we have the Five of Wands, the Temperance, and the Nine of Swords. That feels like a separate thing here. Do you know what's really funny? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna mention it. So this come out. I think if I if I describe this personality, this person, you'll know who it is. There's some it could be a fire sign or an air sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, it doesn't have to be, but it's that kind of energy. There's someone who they're quite problematic. They they I whether whether this person means to be, they do it per, um, they do these things um, um, intentionally, or it's some people can't help themselves. You know, you know people who say, "Oh, trouble follows me." No, you're doing things to 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 uh, draw that to you. I remember I heard I heard actually I, I won't say who, but I heard somebody say that the other day, and I know this person's story, and I was like, "It's the things you're doing." Pe trouble don't just follow people you know it's the choices that they're making there's someone here that's been in your life i'm not sure if they're in your life right now but peace to them it's terrifying peace and calm and quiet to them is terrifying the kind of person who if they sit alone with their thoughts for too long They'll probably turn to drink, some kind of substance abuse. Someone can't be alone with themselves. And I feel like they, maybe that's one of the reasons why like they, they need a bit of chaos in their life. to f Maybe to feel alive. Um, there could be many reasons for that. It could be upbringing. It could be um, maybe somebody was in the military and they and things there were so much things happening constantly. They kind of had a, quite a busy, packed life where they were constantly doing this or moving around and always something coming up, um, which could have made them a little bit, how can I put this? A um, little bit unsettled. Always expecting something to kind of happen. And if it didn't, yes, okay, this, okay, um... If you've left somebody alone that once caused you drama, they're probably paranoid about that, probably paranoid about what you're going to do or what you're thinking or whatever. Uh, some of you guys, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be an ex-partner. Um, this is a troubled person, you know, it's a troubled... Oh, the pages are on top of that. The page of swords, the page of cups, the page of pentacles and the page of wands is right beside it before these three cards that I'm reading right now. And it's a very, very childlike energy. So it's coming up again. And I always ask you guys what it's called. And I remember now arrested development. OK. Um, where someone, they just can't move past a certain... They're just stuck at a certain point. Okay. Why is this why is this person come out? The devil. The devil. Why have they come out? They've they okay. So it's it's somebody who's um
maybe didn't always have the best intentions. They probably got demons um, of some kind, whatever it is. I feel like someone's being tormented mentally. Nine of Swords and the Devil. Some of you guys really know who this person is because you think about them because you're like, maybe why are they quiet or what's their next move or whatever it is. Um, I don't really want to stay in this energy too long, to be honest with you guys. I want to move on from it. It's come out for a reason. So it's clearly I had to address something. October. So we're in Libra season now. We're in Libra season now. Balancing things out, fairness. Someone feels like the karma is coming to them. And I think that's what... I don't know if they're aware of certain things in regards to, like, spiritual things or karma or even, like, tarot, anything along those uh, lines. I feel like someone intuitively feels like... Or they are going through things that, you know, is, is basically their own karma. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Could be a Capricorn as well. Anyways, uh, next, let's move on. What else can you tell me for uh, for uh, Taurus, please? The High Priestess. We've got Pisces there. We've got the Strength. We've got Leo. Okay, some of you guys, there's, there's something that you have to keep to yourself or there's a... The Three of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys are keeping to yourself or not expressing the Justice card. There's that Libra. Um, some of you guys may feel that you need to keep something to yourself for the time being. You need to see how things are going to weigh out. What could this be related to, please? The Nine of Pentacles. So it could be about um, going independent with something called being single. Um, say, for example, if you have a family and you've got children and you've got a partner but maybe you and your partner split up but you guys are still living together and you haven't told your kids yet because for whatever reason everyone's got different reasons now it could be something like that um it could be somebody was engaged and they said hey do you know what we're not together anymore and it's like i'm not ready to hear i'm sorry like oh i'm so sorry it didn't work out someone's not ready or it's not the right time if it doesn't feel like the right time for someone but let's just let's just say overall i'm just giving examples but I want to say overall, somebody is keeping something to themselves right now because they're trying to see how things, certain things play out. It's almost like time's a healer. Uh, I feel like some of you guys understand what that is right now. And some of you guys will, will come to understand. Tell me more, please. The Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Six of Swords. Some of you guys feel like somebody wasted your time or played with you. Um, a little, um, I want to say... Some of you guys, it could be in regards to work or, you know, some kind, maybe some of you guys are building a house or trying to buy a house or somebody was saying, yeah, um, I'll give you this for it. And then next minute they say, no, I found another buyer. It could be, it doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be like somebody in your life where you feel like respect, like you need to respect my time and energy. Knight of Wands, Six of Swords. Okay, some of you guys are moving past this. You will... um whether you whether you have right now or you will like in the future I, I see you guys moving past that i have never noticed that before i've just noticed that um with the knight of wands in this deck oh uh, i forgot what it's called but in this deck there's a volcano at the at the back and it's erupting and i never noticed it until today I always, I always get that with my cards from time to time. There's certain certain things. Some of you guys felt like so, like there was a volcano ready to erupt, like somebody... What's that, what's that word? What's, what's the actual saying? Anyways, I'm sure you get the gist of what I'm saying. Anyways, any, any more? The Four of Cups. Yeah. Literally, again, you feel like an opportunity was missed or you could have done something else or, you know, dealt with... I don't know what what's this related to ace of cups some of you guys is a relationship a connection uh maybe you thought it was going somewhere what else could it be the world some of you guys it could be about traveling completing something okay get into that last stage um 
of finalizing something and it's funny because i mentioned the house as well and it could be like it could be like that no it won't be for all of you but whatever it is okay um but i do see you overcoming that and moving on from it just letting it go all right okay i'm gonna leave that spread there leave that spread there let's get I'm thinking, do I do a quick, um, I've got the Situation Love Oracle deck there. I think, let me just, let me use it. Let me get like a few cards and see what that's saying. Do you know what I want to get out again? The Panther. Let me use the Panther deck. I ain't used that in a while. I ain't used this in a minute. Probably a few months, actually. Let me just do this instead because sometimes that Situation Love deck... Someone's kicking off downstairs. They're kicking off. Anyway, Friday's Friday night. I think people are a little bit, you know, they've been on their old booze. All right, anyways, I'm going to mind my business. <laughs> yeah. Anyways... Tell me, what else, what um, extra messages can you give me for Taurus, please? From the Panther deck. Listen, I hear, listen, I hear some, you see where I live, yeah? I hear some stuff going on, boy. I hear some stuff going on. <laughs> Anyways, all right, tell me about Taurus, please. I don't know if you guys picked, I don't know if the camera picked it up like all the noise but uh i heard door slamming shouting all sorts uh, anyways enough of that um give me five cards please taurus was coming up next seven days real estate that's funny because there you go again with the house the home situation uh it says here wealth investment and mega projects so some of you guys it could be doing up a house some of you guys it could be uh selling buying whatever it is okay um some of you guys yeah as regards to um or thinking it could be if you're not doing it it could be things that you're thinking of as well the next uh stage in your life okay taurus we have right here uh it says ceremony mystery and magic so maybe you guys could have manifested this i want to say that okay so maybe you guys could have manifested um certain certain things coming into your life um that's something that i've definitely done um so i wouldn't be surprised don't be surprised when it happens oh also um it may not always happen the way that you expect it to. So that just in case, some of you guys may know you might be doing this longer than I've been born. But yeah, if you don't, if you haven't, then um, just know, just make sure you say it. Um, when you are manifesting certain things, you know, um, opportunity situation, make sure that you say at the end. Um, you can say, I mean, each their own. But this is what I prefer to say. Just it's kind of like a um, it's like insurance for me. Okay. Um, so just say, you know, I'd like X, Y, Z in a fun and safe way. No harm to anybody. Yeah. Um, that's like insurance to me because it's like, yeah, universe. Like, remember what I said? I don't just want anything just for the sake. Remember? Yeah. I ask for, in a fun and safe way. Let's keep it moving. We have daydream. Uh, we have optimism, illusion and uh, what does that say? Del... Del I don't know what that says. I, I'm really not going to try that. But yeah, daydreaming. Someone's thinking about going on holiday or their future or where they'd like to be. Where they'd like to be. Then we have gain. All right. This reminds me of the Seven of Pentacles in Tarot. Probably can't. Can you see that? He's like picking a pear from a tree. Uh, and it says here. 
cultivation, profit and conclusion. Some of you guys, um, you're, you're seeing the fruits of your labour. That was quick, wasn't it? Right, picking a pear from the tree. One more, please. Oh, we have care, um, parenthood, patron and support. Some of you guys... Uh, it could be about your family, it could be about um, hearing good news uh, about a pregnancy, whether it's yours, like I said, grandchild, niece, nephew, yeah? Or this is what some of you guys are um, manifesting, dreaming about, okay? The future. Okay, so I do want to do, I do want to do um, what I've, like, end the readings like how I've been um, ending it for the last few months or so. So let's get the... Let's get one of these uh, Soul Truth Self-Awareness cards. And then we'll get three Angel Therapy cards for you to end, okay? Where can I create more space? I don't know if I've read this one before. Now, let's see. Um, it says here, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule. That's what I've been doing, guys. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't even know. But I haven't done a reading for about eight, nine days. And it's not like me if you've been watching me for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say it again. Sorry. Instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule. In your home, your mind, your lungs and in your heart. Take time to just be. That's crazy. I haven't read this card before and that's literally what I've been doing. If you don't know, I'm a Taurus moon. Okay, so that, that's totally resonating with me. Let me know if that resonates with you, the soul, the soul truth card. Okay, so it says here, today's soul action is do a clutter detox of your schedule. Okay your home and innermost self. Make space, clarity will come. And I'll tell you why I know that's important. Not why I think, why I know it's important. If things are cluttered, your schedule, your home, you know, your life, it, it, your car. First of all, I can't function. I don't know about anybody else, but I can't function like that for one. So like, um, yeah letting go of some things that may um make you think if you've got less if you've got less clutter you're like oh i can put this there or i can move this around i've got more space i can give this to this person whatever you know good opportunity to gift things to people to um whether it's to the goodwill or charity you know i say charity if you're in the uk or goodwill if you're in america or wherever you are but you know and it gives you a chance to like move things around and see things in a different way you'll probably come across things that you haven't found in a while. Um, but it also puts your mind at rest as well. I, I, I'm like, whew. Um, so that's lovely, yeah. Right, anyways, all right, the three angel therapy messages. And then that is your reason. And I'll do another reading in, in a few days' time, okay? Three angel therapy messages for Taurus, please. That's two. Get one more. Oh, yeah, Taurus. Also, before I forget, because it's not my mind, yeah. Um, the tarot card and oracle card, um, I knew that wanted to come out. That was look at, when I looked down, I saw that card and I thought, I wonder if that's going to come out. And it came out. Um, OK, my mind's all over the place. Sorry. The tarot card and oracle card um, giveaway will resume at Christmas, okay? So there's only, a, what, a couple months? Yeah? I think I've got a few left. Probably about seven, eight, nine. I don't know, but I've got a few left. Okay? I thought it would be nice. Okay, I gave quite a few away, and I'll um, do the rest at Christmas time. So let's see what this says, guys. All right, so we have power, uh, power animal. Let's see what that says. Um, your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and helping you with this situation okay some of you guys i i mean everyone's different i don't always overly look into those things i kind of go with what i feel connected to you know um 
for me it's like butterfly things that fly stuff like that you know um yeah for every each of you might be different some of you guys might like rabbits or might like horses or you know whatever it is cut your cords yeah ask archangel michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships freeing you from destructive patterns yeah in the name of elsa let it go all right um some of you guys that's what you're doing that's what you're yeah okay have you asked your angels for help with this some of you guys may have just thrown your hands up at a situation. I, I don't think you've tried everything. There's some things, no. Um, okay. Your angels want, want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission, okay, before they can intervene in your free will choices. Okay, some of you guys need to speak to them angels, right? All right, guys. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you all. Hope you enjoy uh, your weekend and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, I won't, I won't be gone for that long again. All right. I missed you all. All right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye guys.